do you know that some of the shit that I'm gonna buy today is gonna be cheaper at Walmart than it is at the Dollar Tree? I'm price comparing things at Walmart with the Dollar Tree. I'm not necessarily knocking you if you do. But bitch, who is shopping at Target for back to school? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it had to be said, it had to be said. I've always said this, and even though I've started to like Target now, I will always know Target as like the bougie Caucasian store. Why would I do that when they literally have paper towels at Walmart for a dollar 18, maybe less if I'm lucky? And they do the same thing. They either, they wipe the counter, they wipe my nose, they wipe my mouth, like wh whatever I need. It, they do the same thing, maybe make for like a couple cents less, but like that's okay. I washed my hair yesterday and then I blow dried it and twisted it. And honestly, I'm not disappointed with the results. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, not, oh. <laughs> hey guys. It's me, Navi, and welcome back to my channel. And of course, if you're new here, welcome, baby. I'm very glad you're here. However, I'm not very glad and I'm going back to school shopping today. Yay! School's coming. I'm gonna be a junior in college soon in about, honestly, like less than three weeks, it feels like. Uh, oh my gosh. Today I'm going back to school shopping with my loving boo thing and with you guys. So let's get ready, shall we? I kind of low-key already got started, but before we get started, if you guys could do me a huge, huge favor, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and of course watch to the end of this video. Pretty pretty. Please, it does help fund my back to school shopping. Yeah, help a, help a broke girl get smarter. I've already got the list of everything that I need. And honestly, it's not a whole, whole lot. Like I know some people, especially like the college freshmen or like the high school freshmen, y'all gotta buy y'all stuff in bulk. I don't know what to tell y'all. Well, actually, honestly, you really don't need as much as you think you do. Unless you're somebody like me who's like, well, what about just in case? Maybe I might might need this or maybe I might need that. I don't know, I have to get it just in case. But if you don't think like I do and you just think about just getting the bare necessities and the essentials, then you really, you really don't need a whole, whole lot. Like, especially in high school, like y'all, y'all got it good. I swear y'all do. College is a little bit different cause you, you have to live there. I have to live there. So I kind of need to get like, you know, soap, detergent, laundry beads, scent beads, toothpaste, toothbrushes, stuff that is just like, why do I need this? Like what? But I will be damned, I will be damned if I use the bathroom soap in the dorms, in the communal bathrooms, I will be damned if I use the hand soap on my body. I don't think so, so might as well go ahead and get what I need now. This is a really good face wash, by the way. I've been using it for about a week now and it, Smells really nice. I'll show it to you guys in a second. It feels so good against my skin. I've really been trying to clear up my post acne marks before I go back to school because when I go back, I want to be unrecognizable. I want to seem like I want to seem like Beyonce to people because I went to go see Beyonce this summer and I feel like that changed me both inside and out. Oh my god, I think it got in my eye again. Like, see how, like, glowy my skin looks now? Like, I think I might have found a new favorite face wash. I don't know. But just for reference, this is the face wash that I've been using. I got it at Target for about $10, and it smells really good. Like, like, really good. I've never had a face wash that actually has, like, a good scent to it, which might be kind of bad. I don't know. I don't know. And then I just use this moisturizing lotion by CeraVe. I also used to use the CeraVe face wash, but that kind of broke me out a little bit. So I stay away from that and I just use their moisturizer. I also washed my hair last night. So I have absolutely no idea how my Afro puff is gonna look this morning. Um, pray. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, so like, okay. So I price compared last night for the stuff that I need to get for school. Cause you know me, 
I'm, <laughs> the YouTube trucks don't necessarily cut everything. So I'm kind of balling on a budget right now. And um, I don't know if this is like this where you guys live or where I live. And I don't know if this is like everywhere or not or just select locations, but the Dollar Tree, the Dollar Tree, like my, my saving grace is no longer my saving grace. Now it's my like, Failing, failing grace, okay? Because now everything at the Dollar Tree is $1.25. So instead of getting three items for $3, I can only get two items for $3 plus tax, plus tax on top of that. So what I've been doing for the past two years, cause my tactic, my tactic, right? I have the best tactic, okay? When it comes to back to school shopping, this is what I do. I start cheap, okay? You always start cheap, right? I start at the bottom of the bottom. What's the bottom of the bottom of the of the pyramid scheme of the totem pole when it comes to shopping cheap? The Dollar Tree. Why? Because everything there is literally a dollar. Literally a dollar. So I would always start by getting what I need or at least trying to get most of what I need at the Dollar Tree because I don't know about you guys, but it's like for certain things, I won't get like my body wash or my shampoos or my face washes, obviously not at the Dollar Tree, but simple stuff like razors, household cleaning supplies, um, what else, what else? Snacks, things like that, like stuff that I really don't care about the quality of, I get them at the Dollar Tree because it's literally just a dollar and the math is so easy, it's just, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you just keep going and then like the taxes and stuff on top of it, of course. Like just, usually what I do is like, if it gets to over like 10 or 20 items, I just like add an extra dollar for like to calculate tax. You know, like, I wasn't very, well, I was pretty good at math. I took, I, was, I took calculus in high school, but like, but that's not the point. That's not the point. We're getting off, to we're, we're getting off topic here. We're, we're getting off topic here. Everything is now $1.25. This changes everything. Do you know that some of the shit that I'm gonna buy today is gonna be cheaper at Walmart than it is at the Dollar Tree? I'm price comparing things at Walmart with the Dollar Tree. Do you hear how that sounds? Do you hear how that sounds? There are things that are cheaper at Walmart than they are at the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree, it's, it blows me, it blows me. And what's even crazier, I don't do this, okay? And I'm not necessarily knocking you if you do. But bitch, who is shopping at Target for back to school? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it had to be said, it had to be said. I, look, I think Target is very, very cute, okay? They're very, very cute, they're very, um, they're, they're cute, they're cute, but to get everything that I need for back to school from Target, I just, I just feel like, I just feel like you're spending more money for the aesthetic. And personally, there's a time and a place for everything. And I don't think Target is, is necessarily like, I don't think we should necessarily care about the aesthetic when it comes to shopping for back to school. I'm just, I just need to get what I need and, and get what I need. And maybe we can, maybe we can make like a pit stop at Target if there's like something that I really, really want, like genuinely want. But I'm not, I'm not spending all my money back to school shopping at, at Target of all places because Target is like, I've always said this and even though I've started to like Target now, I will always know Target as like, the bougie Caucasian store because that's the majority of people that I see shopping in Target and I like bougie don't get me wrong I, I love a good I love a good classy like you just saw my my face wash I love bougie but I just don't think I don't think I need to be spending ten dollars on one notebook or like five dollars on one roll of paper towels like like why would I do that when they literally have paper towels at Walmart for a dollar eighteen, maybe less, if I'm lucky, and they do the same thing. They either they wipe the counter, they wipe my nose, they wipe my mouth, like what whatever I need. It, they do the same thing. Maybe make for like a couple cents less, but like that's okay. That that's okay. I washed my hair yesterday and then I blow dried it and twisted it, and honestly, I'm not disappointed with the results. <laughs> I'm not disappointed with the results. <laughs> and you want to know something else? You want to know something else while we're here? I bought my friend.
freshman year that I ended up not needing that now it's just it's just chilling in my room and ever since oh that's cool a big clump of hair just just fell out um oh oh like you, you see that too right you see that okay oh okay i already know what it's from it's just from my comb probably but still i forgot hair ties brb i took a small break and i totally forgot what i was talking about <laughs> not gonna lie maybe this twist out is coming out a little better than i thought um let's see okay we have some length we have some length okay okay this side's always longer than the other side and i don't get why it annoys me but it's whatever at least i have hair i really need to hurry because i have to be out the door by 12 o'clock because i have other plans today and i really need to get all of this shit done by a certain time but wait a minute, we got time to admire this this link here, okay? I know it sounds like my hair is ripping, but I promise you it's not. It's just, okay, that, a piece just fell off, that's great. <laughs> I'm shifting into maximum overdrive. And then this is the back. I think this side is like finally like growing, growing because like it literally, I can never get it to like touch my shoulder, but now I think it's, it's past my shoulder. It's past my shoulder, like I'm getting inches. Y'all just, y'all, y'all, y'all just, y'all, I, y'all. It's, uh, y'all, it's, y'all. I think the reason why this side, I think part of the reason this side is longer than that side is also because I kind of parted it uneven. But it's fine because notice that I took it right down and it's all going into an afro puff anyways. And we're just gonna take some more argan oil. Am I out of argan oil? No, it's my favorite. Oh, now I gotta slick all of this down. I can't. Where's the front? Here it is. Y'all better come up here and get y'all one of these. It's a chicken salad. I got took out too much gel, but that's okay. Actually, no, it's not because this jar was like seven dollars. I need. I really need to stretch it. I'm wondering if after I go back to school shopping, like after I get everything that I need, I'm wondering if I should like reward myself and go to the mall afterwards and get myself like a treat. I might do that. I might. Let's see. See, I love when I first wash it and like the crown, like the front part of my hair, it's so easy to slick because it's clean and like there just hasn't been any like product or anything on it. So it's just like brand new basically. I feel like July went by way too freaking fast. Like one minute it was the 4th of July. The next minute I was turning 21 at a Beyonce concert and now we're in August. Like how did we, how did we get here? How did we get here? Now I have to actually start like planning stuff and getting ready for back to school. What the actual? Also, I think I'm running out of shine. I think I'm like actually running out of this shine and jam stuff and I might need to get more. Cool. I also just remembered I have Qdoba waiting for me in the fridge from last night that I need to eat before it expires. Okay, this should be enough, Joe. This should be enough. This part is honestly the most satisfying in my opinion. Like, cause look at how it's laying. And I think I'm done with my hair. Well, almost done anyways. I still have to do my edges, but as far as the puff goes, as far as the puff goes, like get into it, get into it, get into it, get into it. Let me do my edges really fast. No, because like, it's like, no, you don't, no, because y'all don't understand how hard it is. Like, whenever I do my hair on video, it never, I don't think it really comes out how I like genuinely want it, but lately, it's been coming out good. Like, like who is she? Who is she? I don't know if I told y'all about this or not, but this edge fixer stuff, I did not mean to do that. This edge fixer, baby, it does miracles on my edges. Like, <laughs> and I'm almost out of this too. Why am I running out of everything now? If y'all screenshot or like comment on any of the faces that I make while I'm doing my edges, y'all are racist. Okay. Okay. That's one. That's one. 
I got a text. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I lied. I don't get text messages. <laughs> On the bright side, I already ordered my textbooks for the fall. So really, all I really have to worry about is just taking care of myself. So maybe I should just see this as like a self-care shopping extravaganza. Like, I don't, I don't know. Well, this looks weird. How did, okay, so these came out this way, but these came out this way, so like, um, okay, let's let's see here. I'm trying to fix it. Um, maybe I spoke a little too soon? I don't know. Well, you know what? You know what? This this passes. This passes the vibe. This passes the vibe check. I don't care. And then last but not least, we gonna fluff her out. Fluffity fluff. I forgot my mirror. Hold up. And the back is covered. We are straight. We are straight. We are in there like swimwear. Y'all, we are golden. Like, like this is it. This is it. This is it. This is literally it. Like, I don't know why I keep touching it. I don't want to ruin it. Okay, I'm done with that. Last thing I need to do is my eyebrows. Well, wait, correction, 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 because I don't want y'all twisting that and then thinking, oh, she needs eyebrows or she has no eyebrows. I very much have eyebrows. I just like them a little bit darker, okay? So like, not, not too much, not too much. I mean, I could give you guys a little eyebrow tutorial if you want. I don't really do a whole, whole lot. The first thing I do is I shave them off. I'm just playing. I'm gonna spray my face with this really quick. It's my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. It makes my skin glow, as you can see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna take this this Mililani um eyebrow pomade or whatever, and I don't even know if I said that girl's name right. I said Mililani. It's probably it's it's Milani, I think. And I'm gonna take the brush and the eyebrow pencil. So this is the brush, and then this is. This is the eyebrow pencil. As you can see, I use it a lot. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a cotton pad and like, no, no! I don't know what that noise was. I'm gonna wipe my eyebrows off of any like excess oils or whatnot because my forehead do be oily and it do be getting into my eyebrows. So it's kind of, kind of necessary that we do this stuff. Okay, that's done. And now I'm just going to shape them in place. Like, you know, like brush shape them in place. I tried using an eyebrow gel one time and honestly all it did was make my eyebrows oily which is what I'm trying to avoid here because when they're oily it's a lot harder to do I've, I've seen. Then I'm just gonna like outline them basically like like trace out the shape of my eyebrow. So you like you already like you already kind of tell the difference already because it's like it, it's thick over here but it's like thinner over here so like yeah <laughs> I also like my eyebrows a little like on the the narrow side I'm not really into the like big eyebrow look y'all might be that's cute on y'all but not so much for me literally I I don't know how I managed to use this tiny pencil. This tiny pencil, I, I don't know how I managed to use it, but I do. When I say, like, down to the very last, this is what I mean, okay? Now we've got our eyebrow shape, and now we're just gonna fill them in, like so. Typically, I do my eyebrows in my bedroom, and, like, there's not as much light in there, so I'm hoping they'll come out better in here. And the other one, this is kind of looking, um, a little questionable. Not that bad. Yeah, I can, I can, I can rock with this. I can, I can roll with this. This is, this is about as good as it's gonna get. This is about as good as it's gonna get. I'm content. I'm content. I'm content. I'm, I can, I can. They, they, they there. They definitely, they definitely there. Oh, they definitely there. They definitely there. <laughs> so I'm pretty much just about ready and set. I still have to go eat something, of course, because low-key, I'm starving. But 
I'm just about ready. I'm just about ready. I gotta put on some earrings and put on some shorts and some shoes and then get spray some perfume and stuff. But I'm basically, I'm basically ready. Matter of fact, I could walk out the door right now and go to Walmart and get everything I need. But I'm not ready just yet. I'm not ready for all that just yet. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end of this video. If you made it to the end, that is. If you liked it, please let me know by liking this video, leaving a comment, and of course, subscribing to my channel. And of course, don't forget to check out some of my other videos as well. I will see you guys next time with another video. Have a great morning, slash afternoon, slash evening, slash whatever time you watch this, and I thank you for doing so. Bye-bye!